to actually get to Lagomera takes about 50 minutes if I recall and as soon as you're off the ferry you're straight onto the the mountain roads uh, fantastic riding and Lagomera doesn't have a circular route so you actually have to go up the mountain and down the mountain and I think everywhere is about 30 minutes away but you have to go 30 minutes down the twisties to get there and then 30 minutes back up the twisties to get back to where you were but it's just spectacular riding if you're on a bike I'm not so sure about in a car because there's some really narrow roads um, but as you can see the views are just spectacular it's well worth the trip This was the start of our first like full day in Lagomera and as you, you'll see from the, the map or the route that we followed we got some kilometres covered I think we did about 140 150 kilometres in, in that day and we want there was three points that we wanted to go to uh, Fiona had picked out a couple of places and uh, it was quite strange because you had to go down to the coast, visit where you were going, then back up virtually the exact same road, which isn't a... So it definitely makes for interesting riding when you're on a bike. Um, but the views just make it so so worth it. It's, it's just fantastic. Um, providing you're not going too fast, you can actually you know, enjoy the trip. This cannery that we went to visit, um, there was a history board there about it and when it was developed, I think it was 1904 or something like that, and then closed in the 1970s and it employed a few hundred people at the time. One massive, massive difference between living in Tenerife and uh, living in Lagomera, or rather driving in Tenerife and driving in Lagomera is people will just stop and have a conversation in the middle of the road. Cyclists will ride two abreast, which for me isn't an issue, I'm on a bike. But there's no way I was going to overtake these guys on a bend, and you'll see why in a moment. So, <laughs> that could have been interesting. And then literally about 100 metres down the road, we're on a blind bend and we came across this guy and another guy having a conversation. It's just typical of Lagomera. <laughs> oh. What's the name of this place? Uh, Lagomera. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. This is how you holiday. None of these five star hotels and drinks by the pool with little umbrellas. Oh, Fiona's being brave. Fiona, give us a wave. Never to be seen again. Right, it looks like Fiona's going for it.
<laughs> I'm, a, I'm happy in the baby pool. Right, it's time for the big pull with the big kids. Here I go. Ah. These these ladders are on the case. I know. You feel drunk getting in because the ladders are like. Oh. I hope you got better hold of that card than you did when I knocked it out of your hand. Hi. Woo! Who's that nicking all the bike kit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just a whole day. Said you could have it for the first thing. <laughs> yeah, we could hear a little party going on when we were coming down into the village. So Fiona said, <laughs> that's Jose, the mayor of Lagomera. <laughs> oh, you can stand on this uh, pool. Yeah. <laughs> Come down for all the bike kit. <laughs> oh. Woo. Oh, I can think of worse ways of spending a weekend. Can't believe I got you in the sea. Look at this. This is better than a five-star hotel. Look at that. Reminds me a bit of uh, the pool in... What's it called? Timbo. No. I don't know. It's a big circular one up where we used to bring beer at or we brought it a couple of times. Oh, Jesus Hidalgo. That's it. Yeah. Right, that's it from us. We'll see you when we get back on the road. It's goodbye from her. Bye. Goodbye from him.
are on the way to what's it called? Angulo. Would you say Angulo or Angulo? I don't know. Anyway, this is where we're going. Hang on, there. And we felt a bit peckish and we had some pimientos de padron left over. So how the hell are you gonna heat those up when you're on a bike? Cooking nicely. <laughs> Mm, and this is what you end up with. Mm. Mm. Delicious. accepted the challenge and we're going to Alto Alto de Carajonay and guess who I found? Annika Rice climbing up the mountain look no I know people say I need glasses but that's that's got to be Annika I'll give you two guesses who decided they were going to walk up this big hill in the disco buoys <laughs> Disco buoys, walking buoys. Uh, here's a little tidbit. I didn't know this, and I've been to La Gomera a few times with work. First time really on holly bobs. But we have the Olympic torch from when was it, Fiona? 1966. 68. 1968 Olympic Games, and it was lit here in La Gomera and taken all the way to Mexico so here it is behind me Ooh. I'll turn the camera look at the view from here say hello, hello. <laughs> oh, I get the key. see if I've got my translation right aquí velo fuego su camino so this is the Olympic flame on its way to the Mexican Olympics. Interesting. 
Velo. Yeah. Velo. Oh. So it was lit here and then taken all the way to Mexico. What do you think to that, Fiona? I told you, so I, I, I already know. I, I yeah. Know she knows everything. I'm just, I'm just the, uh, cool. I'm, the I'm the pack horse, yeah. as you can see from okay, my back. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. So there's the port there that we're going to go to in a, another couple of hours. Oh, look at these people are hanging padlocks off it. We'll go around the other side and get a better shot with the sun behind. There we go. Should be better. Who'd have thought that, eh? Lagomera. Like